Abolition of Slavery in the District of Columbia, 1862 by John Greenleaf Whittier When first I saw our banner wave above the nation's council hall, I heard beneath its marble wall the clanking fetters of the slave. In the foul marketplace I stood, and saw the Christian mother sold, and childhood with its locks of gold, blue-eyed and fair with Saxon. Blood. I shut my eyes, I held my breath, and, smothering down the wrath and shame that set my northern blood aflame, stood silent, where to speak was death. Beside me gloomed the prison cell where wasted one in slow decline for uttering simple words of mine, and loving freedom all too well. The flag that floated from the dome flapped. Menace in the morning air. I stood a perilled stranger where the human broker made his home. For crime was virtue. Gown and sword and law their threefold sanction gave. And to the quarry of the slave went hawking with our symbol bird. On the oppressor's side was power. And yet I knew that every wrong, however old, however strong, but waited God's avenging hour. I knew that truth would crush the lie, somehow, sometime, the end would be. Yet scarcely dared I hope to see the triumph with my mortal eye. But now I see it. In the sun a free flag floats from yonder dome, and at the nation's hearth and home the justice long delayed is done. Not as we hoped, in calm of prayer. The message of deliverance comes, but heralded by roll of drums on waves of battle troubled air. Midst sounds that madden and appall, the song that Bethlehem's shepherds knew. The harp of David melting through the demon agonies of Saul. Not as we hoped, but what are we? Above our broken dreams and plans God lays, with wiser hand. Than man's, the cornerstones of liberty. I cavil not with him. The voice that freedom's blessed gospel tells is sweet to me as silver bells, rejoicing. Yea, I will rejoice. Dear friends still toiling in the sun, ye dearer ones who, gone before, are watching from the eternal shore the slow work by your hands begun, rejoice with me. The chastening rod blossoms with love. The furnace heat grows cool beneath his blessed feet whose form is as the Son of God. Rejoice. Our Mara's bitter springs are sweetened. On our ground of grief rise day by day in strong relief the prophecies of better things. Rejoice in hope, the day and night are one with God, and one with them who see. By faith the cloudy hem of judgment fringed with mercy's light.